temptation is a big thing. Our God never tempts anyone. But the big three, those evil three, the ones we learned about in the third petition, the devil, the world, and our sinful nature, they definitely want us to fall to temptation. And so they will lie, and they will cheat, and they will steal from us, and they will work so hard to pull us away from Jesus. And that's really the whole game plan for this Satan, this devil. He wants to pull you away from Jesus. He wants to rip the faith that the Holy Spirit has planted in your heart out of you. And so how does he do it? Well, he intertwines all sorts of lies into what sounds so true. He will twist and he will turn and he will ask the questions that really make the heart say, wait a minute, is that really what God's word said? And to doubt what really needs to be the most pure, reliable, and go-to foundation that we have in life. And that is the word of God itself. But when Satan opens his mouth, the only things that tumble out are lies. But that's his native language. That's the only thing he knows. But God doesn't tempt us. Like a good father, he tests us, he disciplines us, he cares for us in ways that sometimes we don't agree with. But that happens with our earthly fathers too. We don't agree with time out. We don't agree when we are grounded, at least not usually. We are tested and shaped and molded for our life. We are given challenges and situations in which to become a better human being, to love our neighbor, really. That's the thing. We love, we do these things, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind, and love our neighbor as ourselves, because Jesus first loved us. If it wasn't for this Jesus who went to the cross and died upon that cross, shedding his blood for you, you and I wouldn't love anyone we would never be able to do any good works. We wouldn't be able to push away temptation. When sin is crouching at the door, we would gladly open the door and let it in. But Christ has died on the cross for you and for me. Christ has taken away our sins. Christ has sent his Holy Spirit into your heart that faith would be planted there, and that that faith would grow, the smallest of seeds would grow into the largest of plants with, you know, those plants that have the tentacles that grab and hold and, and climb. Those tentacles don't just climb anything. They don't just grab a hold of anything. They grab a hold of your Jesus, the crucified one, the risen one, the one who is your brother, the one who gives you all of his treasure so that the devil, the world, and our sinful flesh may not mislead us or deceive us into false belief, despair, and other great shame and vice. But no, we would rise up out of their horrible ashes and live forever with Jesus. Thanks be to God for his gifts to us.